All right, morning everyone. My name is Cassie and I'm here at the Urban Farming Institute in Oakland Park, Florida, bringing you guys today our chef at 11. Really quick, I you know always want to talk about the importance of consuming lots of fruits and vegetables. We should be doing it all the time, but especially now more than ever, it's very important to make sure that we're doing this so we can help support our body's immune system and make sure that everything is functioning optimally. So the few times that we are going out in public, you know, we really are just taking the best care of ourselves. Cool things about here at the Urban Farming Institute is that we are herbicide, fungicide, and pesticide free. And then most of the stuff that we are using today has been picked either this morning or within the last 48 hours. So not only am I going to get the most amount of nutrients, it's also going to have that best fresh taste. I do want to, you know, highlight that if for whatever reason you're trying to limit your trips to the grocery store and you can only get fresh produce every two weeks, don't hesitate to buy canned or frozen. Uh, if you know they will last you a little bit longer, your fresh produce is obviously only going to last you about a week or so. So those are definitely other things that you can use, but you know don't not buy fresh either. So if you're limiting your trips to the grocery store, buy fresh, buy canned, use your fresh first, and then use the canned and frozen until you have a chance to go to the grocery store again. Uh, today. I'm really excited because one of our favorite volunteers, Jeff, brought me some eggplant and tomatoes from his garden. And so I just want to show you a quick little recipe, two different ones that you can make. Um, first off, eggplant, because the first thing we're going to make is an eggplant tomato roast. And so it's really high in fiber, which is great. It helps obviously with our digestive system, but it's also going to help bind to toxins in your body and flush those out as well. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is just slice the top off of my eggplant like this. You can slice it in quarters, in little pieces, whatever you like. Um, I like to do it just in small slices like this. Remember to be careful of your fingers so it looks just like this. And what's amazing about eggplant is that it's really versatile. So you can add a lot of different stuff to it. You can roast it, you can grill it, you can put it on skewers. You can even make eggplant boats and stuff it with maybe some meat or cheese or maybe quinoa. The next thing I have is a tomato. So as we know, tomatoes do have vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for the immune system. Now it can't prevent you from getting sick but it can certainly help support your immune system. It also has high antioxidants in it, and antioxidants are really important for helping your body fight against cardiovascular disease or maybe even cancer. Um, as I mentioned last time, the National Health Institute mentioned that those people that eat fruits and vegetables that are rich in vitamin C have a lower risk for cardiovascular disease and cancer. But it's important to remember that that's consuming fruits and vegetables with vitamin C and not taking a vitamin C supplement. So just another reason why we want to make sure we're consuming fruits and vegetables, just five servings of various fruits and vegetables will actually give you the daily recommended amount of vitamin C. So all I've done is chop my tomatoes in little pieces like that. I'm also going to cut this one right here. If you are a subscriber to our CSA program, you might have been lucky enough to get a few heirloom tomatoes in your CSA last week. So this is another thing that you could do with it. So all I'm going to do is drop it in my pan just like this. This is my olive oil, not anything crazy from science, even though it's in a beaker. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. You can mix it with your hands, put a drop of salt. I personally like to add some fresh garlic. We all know that raw garlic is really good for antimicrobial purposes as well. Um, and then I'm just gonna pop this right in the oven and cook it until it's about soft. So at 375, probably for about 25 minutes. And you've got a really easy dish that is absolutely delicious and packed with a lot of nutrients. So the other thing that I wanna make today is with my tomato is just kind of a little caprese salad. So another one that's super easy. We know we love tomato for the vitamin C. Also, if you're trying to stay hydrated, tomatoes obviously have some water in it. So on top of drinking every lots of fluids and staying hydrated, you can also eat fruits and vegetables and eat some of your hydration. So once again, I'm gonna slice my tomato into pieces. You could do it thicker if you want. My cheese happens to be a little bit smaller. This is where I made this last week with the heirloom tomatoes and it was 
So amazing, fresh tasting, delicious. Drop it right into my little cup. Then I have some fresh mozzarella. So cheese, as we know, is dairy. Does have some calcium, but cheese also has protein in it. And if you're tuning into our Act Now series, you'll know that protein is actually really important for the immune system. So not consuming enough protein in your diet can actually impair your immune system's ability to work the way it's supposed to. So we definitely wanna make sure that we're getting enough protein in our diet. If you are plant-based, that's fine. You just have to eat a little bit more of certain plants that are high in protein and kind of pair them together so you get that complete amino acid profile. And then obviously if you're eating meat, you're gonna get that full profile. And so all I've done is cut my mozzarella into some smaller pieces like this, thrown in a little tomato. I personally like balsamic. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little of that on top. Another thing if you wanted to add to this is you could do, instead of mozzarella, you could add some cucumber, another great vegetable that's high in fiber. We know fiber is really important as I mentioned earlier this morning, but also fiber can help lower your risk for cancer and help with some blood sugar control um, and keep you full longer. So another reason why you want to eat lots of fiber as well. So there's a quick, easy salad that you saw. It took literally just not even probably five minutes to make. Um, and it's packed with nutrients that are definitely going to help support overall health and well-being. So don't forget to always tune in to check out some of our new recipes that we're you know, highlighting and take this time that we're all kind of stuck at home to really try a new recipe or cook something different that you wouldn't cook, eat some more fruits and vegetables, and check out our Act Now series so you can check out other healthy habits that we think will definitely help you during this difficult time. Thank you.